Well, it's that time of year. I just ran down to the lake and the ice just froze over. It's just a small lake we got here in town, but it's November 25th and I'm ready to do some ice fishing. Make sure my equipment's working. Go down there and try to catch some fish. in a bit of a rush last year. It's my secret weapon today. Orange Deluxe. Even last year I used a little bit of uh, anise oil. And that shit worked. This stuff worked pretty good. I didn't even have to use live bait. I'd throw that one of those down on the little jig and the perch went crazy for it. Well, there she is in all of her glory. A little bit of open water right there because there's a spring. But uh, I checked it earlier and it's about three inches. Maybe four. So let's go drill some holes. something swimming in the area down at the bottom a couple up top it's hard to see on that that screen but let's drop down a Swedish pimp right. one Swedish pimple with a uh, one orange ball that I sent it in that Oh, come on, had a bite. Let's go. I'm a little rusty. I gotta set that hook. First fish is on the books for this winter. Oh man, look at that beast. Look at that beast. Very nice. right off the bottom and I wasn't filming but first fish was a dinker let's get some that I can actually eat I mean I'm watching them on the Vexilar here they're everywhere there's a lot swimming down there there's a lot of action and they're pretty much just uh, they're tapping it just a dead hold. Now, they don't care much for the jigging action. There's one. Oh, come on, take it. Almost had one. Not get the hook set. There's another. Oh, still it's tiny, man. Wow. These aren't worth, these aren't worth cutting up to me. I mean, I'll probably catch a hundred, but I don't want to fillet a hundred. I want, 
I want four or five good eaters for for the day. I'm not I'm not gonna bother with all the skinning for these perch. The amount of meat that you get, fish sticks. I mean, it's not worth it to me. Sitting there skinning all those perch. Give me like four or five good eaters. Fry them up. Good to go. Alright, now there's a lot back. Now we're in action. Oof, that was a good bite. Come on. I'm about a foot off the bottom right now. Come on. Oh, there was one on? Yeah, I got one on. He's tiny. There we go. There's another. Not an eater. He was so small, I didn't even know he was on the hook. <sighs> they're, they're biting now. Just on that dead hold. Lost another. I think I have to sharpen my hooks. There's one. Come on, baby. There we go. There we go. Bad. Not bad at all. He's still pretty small. I'll let you live. Still got my bait, too. Now, I'm not the most experienced ice fisherman, but I, I have noticed that once you find one perch, you can just sit on that hole for a little while and there's a oh, we'll come back. I wanna take it. Got another. Man. These must be real small. There we go. There we go. There's another. A lot of tiny ones. Tiny. Oh, there's a couple taps. All right, we're in business. I can't complain. There's a lot of action. I just can't set the hook. They're so small. I don't think that these perch have very large mouths for this this lure. Nothing. Let's try a new hole. Oh, oh! As soon as I move it, they come in. There's a tip. There we go. I don't. I'm not gonna try a new hole. There we go. You know what? Oh gosh. They're just so small. I can't keep them. As soon as I say I'm gonna try a new hole, I get a bite. There they are on the bottom. Another dink. Holy cow. Maybe I need to go with a bigger lure. Holy cow. Yeah, there's a good little school there at the bottom. Yeah, it looks like I'm in seven feet of water now, but it's eight. There's just that much swimming around down there at the very bottom. Just drop it all the way down, bounce it off the floor. Okay, something just showed up. There's a lot of commotion on the Vexilar. There's something sitting right on that lure. Well, whatever this thing is, he's just tying it up. He's... I had two bites. And that's it. There it is. He feels big. There's a big one. There we go. There's a keeper. Look at that. Good one. Come on, buddy. 
Jeez Louise, look at that. The smallest one to date. enough for me. Well, that wasn't too bad of a day. I was out for about an hour and uh, I stopped counting after 20. So I, I probably caught somewhere around, I don't know, if I had to take a guess, three dozen at least in an hour, which is, which is good. But uh, they're all dinkers. Except for the last few, I started getting into the bigger fish, but I just ended up throwing them back because I just don't feel like hooking them up tonight, so. But, uh, I don't know. Perch fishing, ice fishing. I don't know how much interest I'm going to get filming those, but, uh, comment down below. Just let me know what you think. Should I make some more videos ice fishing, or should it, is it is it as entertaining as watching paint dry? So, this is just a local lake. We've got uh, some bigger lakes around here with pike and walleye. I'm going to be going to Georgetown Lake this year in January, and there's a lot of kokanee salmon in there, brown trout, rainbow trout. So, a lot of fishing opportunities, but I don't know. I figured my first video would be some perch, something simple. So, if you like it, Give me a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you think, and um, hopefully we'll have some more fishing videos coming out soon.